Fragrance fam, what's poppin', man? Welcome back to another video. You're now tuned into the Fragrance Show, and today we're gonna be talking to fragrance from Latafa, and it's from the Latafa Pride line, and I really, really am digging this one, man. Um, it's called Al Almeed. This one right here. Did you guys get the chance to pick this one up? All right, we're gonna talk about this one. This is definitely gonna be a review. All right, stay tuned. guys thanks for taking the time out to check back in with your boy man here on the fragrance show if you're new subscriber peace to you as well peace to my return subscribers peace to everybody in the fragrance community man y'all know the message man y'all already know what we are doing what we've been doing all year you know what i'm saying we are in the you know fourth quarter man we're in the fourth quarter we're gonna we're gonna try to close out this year strong but nevertheless, we're talking Al Almi from the house of Latafa. This is from the Latafa Pride line. And if you have brought a Latafa Pride fragrance, they give you a booklet with all the Latafa Pride fragrances in it, with all the notes in it, and um, stuff like that. Now, I have brought a lot of the fragrances from Latafa period. I haven't got all of them from the Latafa Pride line, but some of the ones I got in the Latafa Pride line, they're not bad. Some of them I can say um, I wish was better, you know what I'm saying? Because the Latafa Pride is supposed to be like their own like signature creations, but nonetheless, you know, they're not bad. So I'll Amid, guys, this one smells great. This is the bottle. They all come in nice boxes. I don't have the box anymore, but this is a nice, this is a nice bottle. I'm not gonna lie, this is a nice bottle and the atomizer, you know, could be better, but we ain't, I'm not focused on that. Focus on that juice, man. This one is great, guys. If you're looking to add a Latafa Pride fragrance, if you haven't already, check out Ao Ao Me. Now, they do have a green bottle similar to this. I don't know the name of that one, and I don't have that one in my collection. If you guys have that, please let me know down in the comments. Or if you have this one, please let me know down in the comments what you guys think of it. All right, so let's talk about the notes, some of the stuff that's going on in Ao Ao Me. This fragrance, like I said, you don't got to go searching for the notes. It's right here. In the top of this fragrance, they say it has some mandarin, uh, clary sage, and a heart, pepper, pineapple, in the base leather and musk so i could definitely see what they're saying with that mandarin orange with that mandarin i guess mandarin orange that is there definitely in the opening of this fragrance for sure um clary sage a little bit like this one has like a a fresh uh, like a citrus fill on the blast but then i can see with that when that leather comes in that well as well excuse me giving it a balance of like this fruity leathery kind of vibe that i'm getting man um they say pineapple now maybe the pineapple is in there um but I can't really smell it. I'm just being honest with you guys. I can't really smell the pineapple. I just get mandarin mixed with like some kind of leathery sweetness feel to this fragrance, but it's nice. It, this fragrance it reminds me of, I believe it might be Calvin Klein, man. I'm not sure. I believe I picked up like a small bottle of that from from Marshalls like way back. But it kind of reminds me of Calvin Klein. Man, and that fragrance was was nice. It had like a herbal tea kind of feel. But this one I can see where they say like leather's definitely in here. And it's just a nice mixture of citrus, leather, fruitiness that you get, but it's not a it's not a fruity uh scent it's just that mandarin is very prominent like i said i don't really get the pineapple um you guys have this one if, if, just let me know if you guys are getting pineapple but it's really nice to me with that citrus opening this can definitely be for spring and then when that leather mix in there leather makes it a little bit more for cooler weather spring fall 
I wouldn't push this one into the winter in my opinion. Just my opinion guys. Did decide to wear this one. It was in, you know, the fall time. And it was a nice performer. Now, I normally go eight sprays. Um, you know, for some people that might be too much, but I go eight sprays and this one was, it was a beast. It was a beast and to me, the fragrances that I have picked up from Le Latin for Pride line so far, this is one of the better ones. I like uh, Aquarum. I just did a review on that one. That one is very nice as well. I like Nabros. Uh, I got some other ones too, but out of those ones, to me, this one might be the one with the best performance so far. Al Amid. Like I said, let me spray this one more time. And yeah, it's like a, it's like a citrus leathery kind of vibe with this one, man. But it's real good. Performance is there. So you want to wear this one to me. To me, this is like a versatile scent. This can be worn in the daytime. This can be worn at night. To me, this is best suited for like a date. I think you can find something like much sweeter for like clubs and stuff like that. To me, this is definitely for a date. It's clean, it's nice, it's fresh. Excuse me, the leather note in here is done real well. I think the compliment factor is there. Uh, to me, this is like, I could say formal attire. I could definitely say formal, formal attire with this one. But if you want to go casual, be my guest. You know what I'm saying? To me, it all depends on like how your style is. Some people dress formal all the time. Like their casual way of dressing might still be a pair of shoes. You know what I'm saying? Your casual might be a pair of sneakers. So it all depends on like your preference. But I can see this being worn formal and then casual to me, day or night. I don't believe this is an office scent. Uh, I'm not saying you can't wear it to the office, but I think if you wore it to the office, you will be doing entirely way too much, bro. <laughs> like, like if you wore this to the office, like, yo, you were really trying to like get some attention with wearing this one. So I think this is, save, save this one for, you know, you're reaching out, you got it, you're going out with your wife or your girlfriend or even the first day or whatever, you know what I'm saying? On those, on those kind of vibes. I'm getting this kind, those kind of vibes from it, but really nice fragrance guys I, honestly the price point is definitely skipping my head right now but i don't believe this one is over 60 and i did get my bottle off of ebay and it's just a nice design bottle in my opinion so good job latafa good job like i said it does remind me of like a fragrance i believe it's called calvin klein man but that mandarin opening with the leather um it's very nice. Like I said, if it's pineapple in here, I'm not really getting that much of it. If, if you guys are getting pineapple, if you have it, let me know down in the comments. All right. Thanks for watching this video, man. If you need more content, click on that video bubble up on the screen. Oh, I'm sorry. Performance, guys. Easily, you're going to get two hours worth of projection when it comes down to this fragrance. And easily, you're going to get seven plus hours on your skin and even longer on clothes, guys. I'm sorry about that. I forgot to give y'all those numbers, but easily two hours projection. This is a pro this, it's not like I don't want to say like, like real beastly, but it's there, like it's there, it's, it's, it's there to me. I got two plus hours worth of projection, and it was on my skin, it was on my clothes. It lasted me. If you work an eight hour shift, they ain't gonna have no problems with this Al Hami right here. So I'm sorry about those. That guy forgot to get all those numbers, all right? But all right, let me get up out of here now. If you need more content, click on that video head up on the screen. You wanna like and subscribe to the channel, that link is up there as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace, salute.